Uh, good morning. This is Lewis Katz. Today we're going to be talking about color correction using Photoshop and levels and white balance, really. Um, if you want more information from me, you can uh, visit me at uh, lewiskatz.net or um, at uh, Lewis Cat Ceramics on YouTube. Okay, so I have a funky picture here. It's a scan of a slide, and I am going to zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole thing, and then I'm going to crop it. And so I'll get my crop tool from Photoshop. There's the crop tool. Bring it over. Crop the image. May have to zoom out again. And there it is, view, zoom out, there we go. Okay, so you can see the whole thing. You can see there's no whites or blacks in this image. Uh, no detail in the whites and blacks. The image also has a bunch of mold and dust on it. Uh, it's funky. Not going to fix that in this. I'm going to just take care of the colors. So what I want to do is to make life easy for myself in the future I usually use an adjustment layer so I go under new adjustment layer levels and it brings up this window I can call the layer anything I want and that brings up this window which is the levels layer and I'll slide it down here the way you read this is that this is a histogram of all the different values in the photograph and so there this part here, this line here, is the number of pixels that are black, and there's nothing down there. There's no pixels that are black. This is where middle gray is. There are a few middle gray. There are no pixels that are white. It doesn't get, when you look at the white, it's gray, it's middle gray. To do this and really get a good job, I do each channel separately. This is the red channel, and it says there's no whites or blacks. I'm going to just take this black slider and move it over here and say what this says is change the photograph so that there are this many black pixels. Change the photograph so that there are this many white pixels in the red channel only. And this thin black line here, that just represents noise in the photograph. And I believe that this line right here is noise too, so I'm going to ignore it. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the green channel. And for the blue channel. Okay, and I'm looking at this photograph and I see a little bit of a red tint there. I'm going to go back to the red channel and I'm going to assume that that isn't noise. There we go, that's better. Okay, great. So this is what the photograph looks like corrected. Okay, so I can bring up my layers palette and you can see that I now have a levels adjustment layer. If I turn off this eye here, you can see what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. It balances the white. It does white balance if you're shooting a real photograph, if it's a, originally a picture of a real live thing and not a picture of flat graphics or something. The levels, uh, this way of doing levels, nearly always improves them, even if it's coming straight out of a camera. Sometimes, however, I look at these photographs after I've leveled them like this, and they look dry. And so because it's a, an adjustment layer, I can go into that adjustment layer and I can change the opacity, how much that adjustment layer is effective. I can turn it down a little bit. Sometimes I find that turning it to 90 or 94 percent is actually better. It puts a little life back in there. In this case, it doesn't. So we're going to just leave it. This is an old scan of a slide or of a photograph. This is my wife's mother, now deceased, Mary Bush. Very beautiful lady in a posed photograph here. Um, and we are going to zoom out, view, zoom out, and get the whole photograph in there. And the background is not part of the photograph, the, uh, the beige, so I'm going to get rid of it because it will goof up my leveling. And now all I have is this very purpley pink photograph. And you'd think you 
Uh, okay, okay, this is Lewis Katz, part two here, just coming in. Um, great. Back in Photoshop here. So we're going to come in here, layer, new, new adjustment layer, levels. Great. Okay. Here's the level layers again. You can see that uh, there's there are whites, lots of whites in the red channel. I'm going to go to the red channel here, red channel. I'm going to drag this over to here. I'm going to ignore this part here because I think that all that's noise. Going to go to the green. Going to do the same thing. Drag that over and blue. Drag this over here. And there's something wrong with the color. If you look at her, she's all purple. And it looks like if I fiddle with the blue, I can make the background neutral and make her look better and more realistic color. And for a really old, faded photograph, uh, that might just be about as well as we can do here. So we're going to press OK. You can see it here in the levels. We can turn it off. And you can see that the photograph really is a lot better didn't take me a very long time and um, this uh, process works on scans works on fresh photographs that you've taken uh, just about everything okay thank you very much this is uh, the Jing cast for today on color correction and white balance uh, this is Lewis Katz visit me again at lewiskatz.net or at YouTube the Lewis Cat Ceramics channel, or also on YouTube, the Road Easy Gentleman channel. Thanks. Have a nice day.